Welcome back. We love to put the spotlight on organizations doing great things in the community. One of them is Girls Inc. and Rants recently had the opportunity to learn about what they're doing and how they're helping to empower young women. Check it out. Girls Inc. brought me to Jacksonville. Girls Inc. is an organization that serves girls ages 5 to 18. We are a part of a network that has 1,500 sites in 350 cities. And we provide in-school programming right now with trained professionals who develop the whole girl, support, mentor, and guide her to lifelong success. CEO of Girls Inc. Jacksonville, Darlene Vaughn, made the leap from the Midwest to Florida to make an impact on young women's lives in Jacksonville and beyond, with a good reason. Well, I have a five-year-old who I want to be strong, smart, and bold, which is the mission of Girls Inc. of Jacksonville. I think Girls Inc. does such great work, and I just want that highlighted, and I wanted to come alongside to see what else I could do to grow the organization. Because females face a lot of challenges. They face issues of having their voices be heard, issues of negative body type, issues of uh, just their day-to-day -day lives and navigating those lives. And we want to make sure that we have something in place to help lift girls up and empower them for their lifelong success. She talks about the importance of having an organization like Girls Inc. It's so important because girls have to build those healthy sisterhood relationships and bonds as they think about especially moving to top tier positions where sometimes there's not a lot of females and they can help support and build up one another. The Jacksonville version of Girls Inc. serves over 600 young ladies on six campuses across the area. They hope to double that number within the next couple of years. For those curious about how the ladies connect. Each school meets after the school every day except for the Young Men and Women's Leadership Academy, and they meet during the school day, every day. And we provide programs ranging from economics, in, um, economics, entrepreneurship, literacy, programs to help girls uh, combat negative influences and peer pressure, help girls, uh, programs to help girls with uh, negative media influences and understanding their body and being proud of who they are. The focus is on being strong, which means healthy lifestyles, smart for literacy, and bold, which means building lifelong success and finding their own voice. This year's Miss Girls Inc., Agna Mutic, talks about why she joined Girls Inc. Just so many good things, so many good opportunities, um, mentorships, field trips, college tours, scholarship opportunities. It, there's just like so much that like I could just go on and on and about. It's it's just been so nice. Like you just you just know you have like a second family here and you know like everyone has your back. Everyone like really cares for you and they they're just there to support you. Alicia Allen says the diversity in the group helps everyone learn to relate to different cultures and perspectives. One experience that she didn't expect but loves. Well, when it's Wednesday, we will all come together. We will do yoga. We will walk around the school. Or we will just, you know, all come together and just, you know, just share our, share our stories over the weekend or just how our day was, roses and thorns, basic stuff. Have you ever considered, like, doing yoga and stuff before joining group? No, sir. That's, like, that was a new thing for me. And it was, it's very, like, very healthy, very fun. Just doing it with the girls is very active. Many ladies who have come through the program come back to support peers and to show love to the mentors who helped them through. Girls Inc. is holding a special luncheon to show love to strong women and organizations who have supported them. The Girls Inc. Celebration Luncheon will be held on March the 10th at noon, and we will highlight our success as well as honor uh, Jamie Olento as our champion for girls this year, Melissa Ross, who is our Woman of Vision, and we're highlighting also the Dolores Bar Weaver Policy Center, which is an organization that is focusing on girls, and we want to champion them for the work that they're doing. I'm Rance Adams for River City Live.